Hello, ladies and uh, gentlemen. This is my quant channel where we talk about uh, quant finance. And we all know that quant finance is a math heavy field, math is uh, very essential and very important. And that is why today we are going to look at which math topics you need to learn to become a quant. And uh, we're going to start with calculus, uh, specifically calculus uh, one. And uh, Calculus 1 focuses on the foundation of differentiation and integration. And uh, there are a few books that I recommend on Calculus 1. If you're a complete beginner to Calculus and you have no clue whatsoever what happens, uh, what is Calculus, and uh, you have heard it for the first time, Calculus for Dummies is a pretty great book for beginners. But then as you start learning and progressing, there are two other books that I recommend, which is Calculus by James Stewart. And then you have Thomas Calculus by George Thomas. And those two books are really great. You can also watch YouTube channels. Uh, you can watch uh, YouTube videos to study Calculus 1. There's a lot of great resource about Calculus 1. Then when it comes to Calculus 2, it extends to advanced integration techniques uh, series. And uh, there are applications in solving real world problems. When it comes to um, Calculus 2, uh, you can read Calculus 2 for Dummies by Mark Zagarelli. I don't really uh, think that's the best book. So there are two other books, uh, Calculus Wall 2 by Tom Ap Apostle, and then you have Thomas Calculus by George B. Thomas Jr. They are both two very great books that you should definitely uh, read on Calculus 2. You still can uh, go on YouTube and search for uh, free resources online about Calculus 2. There's a lot of great resources. Now, then there is ordinary and partial differential equations, ODE and PDE. So uh, ODE equations, uh, ODE deals with uh, equations involving functions of one variable and their derivatives. Uh, they are often used to model dynamic systems. And uh, then you have a PDE, which is a partial differential equations. And it involves equations with multiple uh, variables uh, and their partial derivatives. And it's really crucial for modeling multidimensional systems like heat flow and uh, financial derivatives and such. And here are a few books that I recommend on uh, ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. You have a book called Ordinary Differential Equations by Morris Tenenbaum and Harry Pollard. Then you have uh, Differential Equations and Their Applications by Martin Brown. And then you have partial, partial Differential uh, Equations by Lawrence C. Evans. Those two, uh, three books are really great to learn about differential equations. You can still go on YouTube and find courses uh, about these topics. Now, when it comes to linear algebra, uh, it is uh, it's, it studies vec vector spaces, matrices, and linear transformations. There are a few books that I recommend. Elementary Linear Algebra, Applications Version by Howard, Anton, and Chris Rores. Uh, then you have SCOMA's Outline of Linear Algebra by Seymour Lipschutz and Mark Lipson. I'm sorry how I pronounced that last name. And then you lastly have Linear Algebra by Steven Friedberg and Arnold G. Insel and La Lawrence E. Pence. Uh, those are three very great resources to learn Linear Algebra. And go on YouTube and, of course, a search about linear algebra. You're going to find a lot of good videos about it. Then you have to learn about mathematical proofs, which is really important because when you define strategy, when you define, uh, when you're going to do uh, research in quant finance, your strategies alpha is going to be generated uh, by this proof. And, that, and this proof is basically uh, your hypothesis is this uh, about uh, some inefficiency in uh, market. So you're going to have to write proof about that this inefficiency exists and you will have to prove it. And uh, the proofs uh, in ma mathematics, uh, they uh, form the foundation of rigorous mathematical reasoning. 
and they ensure the validity of concepts through logic and deduction. So you have to learn mathematical proofs, and uh, there's a lot of reasons why you need to learn them. And there are a few good books on mathematical proofs and abstract mathematics in general. I really love the books uh, A Long-Term Mathematics Proofs, by a textbook by Jay Cummings. It's one of the best, the, the red one, the red the book, by Jay Cummings is one of the best one. Uh, it's the best book about proofs that I have found. And then you have an introduction to object mathematics by Robert J. Bound and William J. Keane. And then you have proofs and fu uh, fundamentals, a first course in object mathematics by Ethan D. Block. Those also are two other good books on mathematical proofs. You can still find great research in YouTube. There's a little bit less research on mathematical proofs, so you'll have to study and uh, read books, but you still can find. Then you have this really interesting uh, topic that you probably have not heard, or maybe you have. It's called measure theory, uh, and it underpins modern probability and integral calculus and it can provide the framework for understanding random processes and sto stochastic analysis. And it's really important for quantitative uh, analysts, uh, especially if you're going to price uh, derivatives. And stochastic analysis and stochastic calculus in general and random processes are very important in uh, financial engineering and quant finance in general. And there are a few books that I recommend on uh, measure theory. An Introduction uh, to Measure Theory by Terence Tao. Uh, then you have Measure Theory by Paul Almos. And then you have Real Analysis, uh, Modern Techniques and Their Applications by Gerald B. Folland. There's are three very great books about Measure Theory. You can potentially uh, find uh, resources about Measure Theory in YouTube. Uh, not specifically. There are a few, but... Uh, they are not very high quality so you again will have to learn uh, it uh, and read books then uh, about probability uh, well probability is really important so probability is one of the most important things um, in quantum finance um, of course all concepts that i mentioned here is very important probability is one of the most important ones uh, probability is the study uh, of uncertainty and randomness. It covers fundamental concepts like random variables, distribution, expectations, and so on. There are a few books, uh, Probability Theory and Examples by Rick Dorrit, Introduction uh, to Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists by Sheldon Mee Ross, and Introduction uh, to Probability by Joseph Kiblitsen and Jessica Huang. I'm sorry how I pronounced that last name. You can find a great resource in YouTube, I must say, about probability. If uh, you like the video and uh, you enjoyed it, please uh, press the like button and then also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And then if you want to fund the uh, creation of the video, if you want to sponsor me as a content creator, you should uh, consider going to the link in the bio and uh, supporting me on Patreon. Uh, by uh, subscribing to membership. Also, if you didn't like the video, uh, press the dislike button and then write in the comment section what you didn't like. Now, if you uh, have any uh, like book recommendations or some other things that I didn't share, please also write them in the comment section. Uh, okay, uh, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, have a great day.